All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this bike by Hemiway. It's the Hemiway C3. They call it the Family Series. It's a cargo bike. This baby can load, the payload is 440 pounds. It's awesome, but first, let's unbox it. All right, Frankie boy, what are we doing today? We're building a bike. We're building an e-bike. We're gonna put this together. There's usually not a lot involved. They come pr mostly assembled. A few things to put on, but this is Frankie requested to help me. So we get to work. Now, how do we open this? Thing? We're doing the Hemiway C3 bike. They, they call it a cargo bike. It can haul 440 pounds. That's two grown adults. And there's a little seat on the back, so let's get to work. We'll get it charged and take it for a test ride. <laughs> let's just bend. Oh, this must be the charger and some other things. Oh, Hemiway hat for Frank. Oh. Hemiway makes a lot of different bikes. They have little kids e-bikes, right Frank? Yeah. And, okay, there's a hat. Perfect, looks like we got a light and pedals and the charger. <laughs> okay, look at, look at it, it's got the built-in back seat. This is a, looks like a comfortable. You know yeah, what? Look at that thing. That's, that's like, gonna hold any size booty. That's gonna fit <laughs> all sizes right there. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, we got it. Look at that thing. That was a wheel. That was a wheel. We need a knife. Fun colors on this one. Okay, we're probably going a little out of order here, but Frank is just wanting to get in and help, so he's doing the pedals. He wanted to be the worker man. You're doing good though. Next step, we're gonna use the little tool here, get the handlebars on. I'll show you on the front wheel, it came like this and it had like a cover on to protect from shipping. And these were stuck in there really good and I couldn't quite tell what needed to happen, but we got pliers and yoinked it out. And so we've got it all the way through. Can you see my eye? We can. Now I put together a number of e-bikes and one thing you want to make sure like it's really all the steps are really easy but sometimes I'll have this turned backwards or this is put on backwards like I'm pretty sure uh, it's right it looks all right to me but just double check that that it's making sense the way you're putting it on because you, you don't can want the forks turned behind yeah you. and you do notice and you'll you can just fix it but it just saves you that extra step of Redoing it, yes. Honestly, the instructions on these types of bikes, I usually don't even use them because they're not actually that helpful. You just kind of have to use some common sense and you don't need a ton of skill in putting it together, but it takes just a, like a little common sense like this. It's said to lift up, but I'm actually just unscrewing it and pulling out this crossbar. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> been most helpful with two people getting it lined up with the brakes three. and three K okay, come on back here Frank yeah oh are we gonna need that bar right now hand mom that big bar okay now we're back in business we got these installed properly this is the only bolt that we see that can be if, but I, it does fit in there properly and it stops it feels so. plastic but i think I it'll think do what it needs to do what it's supposed to be okay we've got all our best people on the job here we're gonna tighten it up now frankie's here too yep. <laughs> and i'm just working on this bike yeah. there it goes where do you think it should go I think it looks better like, like that. This. Okay. It'll One be of everyone's sender. favorite bike. Yeah. Oh. Last step, put on the bail. The Hemiway C3 cargo bike 
it's all ready and we're gonna give it a charge and we'll take it for a ride. I think April and I can go for the ride at the same time, so. And we'll maybe bring Frankie too, so. Here we go, we're gonna charge it up and take it for its first ride. Okay, here it is. The bike is charged, ready to go. Let's take it outside. Frank, it's ready to rock and roll. How's it look? You unplug it for me? Yep. Thank you, and close the lid. Let's see. You have to close two lids. Two lids, and bam, ready to go. Okay, peel off the tail sticker. Okay. Tail light sticker, boom, ready to go. We're gonna take it for, I'm gonna get first impressions. I'm gonna take April for a ride on it and just get a bunch of shots and see what I think of the bike. Okay, it's got a great, there I am. <laughs> it's got a great uh, LED screen. I'm gonna turn it on big. It's got all the, just all the important information. 2.8 miles on it to take it for a little ride. All right, here we go. First impressions. First of all, the seat is super soft and it's huge and it's really comfortable. Uh, second of all, I, I'm six foot two. I don't, the bike doesn't really feel small for me, but it's like, um, I think it's a good size. I think it, I'm about much taller than me. It may feel pretty small for you, uh, but I bet a very short person could ride this as well if my uh, younger kids wanted to ride it, like 13 year old Ambry or whatever. I think uh, it's a good, good mid, mid sized bike. Um, um, that's plenty fast in most all situations. So you're not gonna wanna go much faster than that. Uh, plenty fast on the speed. It's got five different levels of assist. And you know, you can do just, just the throttle if you want or pedal assist. It's got seven gears and it's really comfortable. It's a comfortable bike. I love, love the seat. Like, I feel like I could sit all day on this thing. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, cruise around and put some miles on the bike and see what we think. All right, I'm gonna tell you about some of the specs on the bike. The maximum speed you can reach on this bike is actually 28 miles per hour, which is awesome. That's really fast. Range 60 to 80 miles. Uh, it's got throttle only, plus pedal assist, charging time six to seven hours. Uh, the battery is integrated into the bike. The motor is 750 watt. It's got Shimano components. It's got aluminum pedals, alloy frame. The headlight is 48 volt LED light. And yeah, like I said, the, the weight of the bike is 80 pounds and the max system weight is 440 pounds. All right, let's ride. Also with the 440 pound payload capacity, rest assured that you can strap on all kinds of cargo on the back. Okay, I made the journey over to this hill. It, this is as steep a hill as you're gonna find anywhere, most likely, like I swear it's like 25% grade. I don't know what it is, but it's really steep. And I can't really remember what the other bikes I've ridden up this can do, but we're just gonna do no pedaling, see how it does with just the throttle uh, up this super steep. Just a really steep grade here, but we're gonna see how, see how it does. <laughs> All right, we're getting real steep. 13 miles per hour, 12. Remember, no pedaling allowed. Keeping it at 12 miles per hour. It's so steep. Come on, Hemingway C3. What do you got? If you can haul 440 pounds, you can do this hill. Yeah, we're keeping it at 12, that's awesome. 
So good. Oh, it's working. It is working it. It's so steep. Well, we're holding 12 miles per hour. That's way good. Awesome. Okay, I've been riding the bike for quite a while, about an hour maybe. Um, I love it. I think it's super great. Uh, the seat's really comfortable. I will say with the width of the seat, super comfortable if it rear end my size. Um, when I'm pedaling, I do feel it on my inner thighs. Like I feel like if I were pedaling for a really long time, I would start to feel it right there. But I think it's an e-bike first and then a regular bike second. So pedal every once in a while, pedal assist, but for the most part, it's, it's a fun bike to cruise around on. Um, good speed, tops out at 20 miles per hour. When I was riding with April and Frankie on it, going uphill, I was still able to hit 13 miles an hour. Like it does really good. It's got a lot of power. I'm gonna keep riding it around, kind of see some of the longevity of it. You know, it touts 80 miles an hour or 80, uh, 80 miles that it can go. Most likely you're gonna have to be pedaling the whole time and no hills and in the very best of conditions to reach that. But um, that being said, it is a powerful motor and it feels like high quality. You know, there's so many different choices for e-bikes, but this one, all of the components on it from the gears to the brakes, to the wheels, to the frame, just all of it, even the wheel guards, the light, there's some really cheap ones out there that I've seen, but everything seems like they, they're super high quality on this one. So I'm giving it two thumbs up and overall love the bike. Give it two thumbs way up for me. My only wish was when there's a seat on the back of it, I wish that pegs would just come with it. Cause when April was riding with it, there was kind of no comfortable spot to put her feet and her legs kind of got tired. So I feel like any bike that has a good seat on the back, let's throw some pegs on it. Um, that's, that would be my request. Other than that, love it. Um, it's got a great light on it. Uh, there's no button for the light. Just when it's dark, the light turns on. So you don't have to worry about finding the button in the dark and anything like that. So I think that's super cool. Real quick, before I start riding it, I wanted to show you the kickstand on it. It's different than any of the e-bikes I've ridden before. It's got, you know, it's more like a moped or a motorcycle one. So it's either gonna sit like that, where it looks like it's in a wheelie or forward like that. But I think it's a good sturdy way to have a kickstand. Um, I like it, I think it's cool. But yeah, the kickstand different and the seat is so big. <laughs> Um, yeah, so when I was pedaling it, I would kind of feel my legs kind of hitting that. So if I were doing an Ironman triathlon, I probably wouldn't want a seat that big. But for the e-bike, I think it's a good seat. Okay, it only went down one battery tick and I rode 15.5 miles. One thing I don't think people take in to know is just how far 80 miles is. Like if you're going full speed at 19 miles an hour, you're going to be traveling for four hours. Like that's more than anybody's gonna commute. So plenty of distance, even if you only get 60 miles out of a charge, that's further than you're gonna be commuting. So plenty of range, uh, incredible range in fact, and I love the power it has and that it can haul an extra person on the back, but super good bike. If you guys wanna check out this bike, it's two thumbs up from me, it's about $2,000. I'm gonna put it in the description below. You guys can check it out. Hemiway's got some great bikes. Like I said, this is the C3. I think the C1 is the little kid bike. EB has ridden that and loves it. Um, overall, Himaway I think is a great company and one that you can trust with high quality components. So thanks for watching. See you next time.